Hi, I'm Penny. Welcome to this yoga session. Today's yoga session is on um, the sacral chakra, Swadhisthana. Swadhisthana is the second of the chakras in the seven chakra system, starting with what we worked on last week, which was the root chakra. So the root chakra is all about feeling secure, all about feeling grounded, and the sacral chakra works in with our movement and our fluidity, our desire, our creativity. So find a chair that's comfortable and go ahead and stack your spine and roll your shoulders up back and down. You can come a little forward on your chair, just make sure that it's secure. And we're going to start with a mudra, and a mudra is just a hand position. So this one is for balancing the root chakra, I mean, excuse me, the sacral chakra. And so if you can see my hands, I'm actually going to place my thumbs together. I'm going to put the middle finger and my thumb together and put my index finger underneath the middle finger. And then take the pinky and the ring finger and put them in the palm of my hand. So you'll see my thumbs, they're touching the middle finger and the index fingers are touching. I'm just gonna place this on my lap. Now, if you don't wanna do this mudra or maybe your hands are sore, you can just cup your left hand and place your right hand over the top of that or any other mudra that you would like to do. So I'm going to do the balancing mudra one more time. So thumbs are together index fingers are underneath the middle finger and the middle finger and the thumb are touching and the index fingers are touching and then take the pinky and the ring finger and just close them underneath. Now the sacral chakra, Swadhisthana, has a color, the color is orange. It has a sound, the sound is VAM, V-A-M. It has an element, the element is water, and it's all about movement, it's all about desire, it's all about the ability to be going forward in our lives. Once the root chakra is taken care of, we can now have desire, we can also have creativity, which is really hard to do if your root chakra is not grounded because you're worried about survival. So let's go ahead and close our eyes, stack our spine, and come up with an intention for this practice. And um, anything that you'd like to focus on, if you would like, I'll give you a couple of ideas. We can do a mantra, is I have all I desire, or I feel free to be creative. So pick one like that. I think I like the, I feel free to be creative. So close your eyes and come up with something you'd like to create. And take a breath in. And exhale. Breathe in again. And exhale. And one more time, take a breath in. And exhale, and when you're ready, just go ahead and open your eyes. And if your hands are in the mudra, let's just go ahead and shake off that energy. Now, the sacral chakra is at the center of your abdominals, a little bit lower than your belly button. It's right about the sacrum level of your, of your body. So go ahead and stack your spine, roll your shoulders up, back and down, pull your abdominals in. And let's go ahead and start with some sun breaths. So take a breath in, bring your arms up. As you exhale, turn towards your left, get a nice stretch. Breathe in, bring your arms up. Exhale, turn to the left, get a nice stretch. Exhale, take a breath in, bring your arms up, turn towards your right. Exhale, come forward, bring your arms up and turn towards your left. And come forward. Rolling your shoulders up, back and down. Let's go ahead and take our legs out to the side. Opening up the sides of our hips. And let's take a breath in 
And as you exhale, bring your left, right arm onto your right knee. Take a breath in and bring your left arm up into the air, getting a stretch on that left side. So take a breath in. And exhale, breathe in again. And exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, come back down. Bring your left forearm on your left thigh, take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your arm up and stretch out that right side. So take a breath in. And exhale, breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. And exhale, bring that arm down. Bring your hands onto your knees and come forward with your chest. And just do some wide-legged cat-cows and roll in. Come forward with your chest. Exhale, roll in. Breathe and come forward. And exhale, roll in. And keeping that wide-legged position there, let's go ahead and straighten out the right leg and come into a warrior one pose. Take your hips and bring them to the front. Take a breath in, arms come up, and this can be your warrior one, or you can leave your arms down. So take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time. Take a breath in. You can leave your arms up. And if they're up, bring them back down. And let's go ahead and do the other side. So let's go ahead and do warrior one on this other side. So your leg is on your chair. Bring that left leg behind you. Right leg is on the chair. Hands can be your hips or they can come up. Take a breath in. And exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale. And one more time. Take a breath in. And exhale, and when you're ready, let's go ahead and come back to the center. Bring our knees to the front. Let's go ahead and work on our lower body just a little bit. Take your right knee and bring that into your chest and pull your legs up straight. And exhale, and now take that right leg over the top of your left if you can let's just give a nice stretch, pulling your abdominals in and getting a nice stretch in your back. So take a breath in and exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale and one more time. Take a breath in and exhale and come back to the center. Take that leg down. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, pull that left knee in, getting a nice knee to chest or even to your shoulder. Now cross that left leg, if it's possible, over your right. Take your right arm and kind of cuddle that right knee, excuse me, left knee, and turn towards that left side. And take a breath in. And exhale. Breathe in again. And exhale. And one more time, take a breath in and exhale and come back to the center and take that left leg down. Now bring your legs back out one more time. Bring your hands onto your knees and let's go ahead and do a nice stretch for your low back. So take a breath in and as you exhale, pull that left shoulder towards your right knee. Take a breath in and exhale, breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. And as you exhale, come back up. Breathe in and exhale, let's go to the other side. Bringing that right shoulder to your left knee. And breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in again. Exhale, and one more time, take a breath in. And exhale, let's just do add some movement to that. So take left shoulder to right knee, right shoulder to left knee. Couple more times here, left shoulder to right knee and right shoulder to left knee. 
and come back to the center and bring your knees back in. So from right here with your feet down onto the floor, come a little forward onto your chair and bring your arms out to the side. And let's just go ahead and do some reaching. So let's reach to the right using our ribs right through here to reach two and three and let's reach to the left one two and three and let's reach two and three and reach two and three and one more time to the right and one more time to the left and then come back to center now sitting with your knees together, let's go ahead and do a couple of Sufi grinds. So place your hands on your knees, come forward and come back, come forward with those shoulders and back and one more time forward and one more time back. Let's go the other direction. I'm just gonna go to the right here, but you go the opposite direction and back. Bring it forward, making big circles and back. And one more time forward and back and then come back to the center. Now, because the sacral chakra is all about the ability to move and the desire to move, we're gonna do a couple of more cat cows in the knees together. So bring your chest up and exhale, roll all the way in and chest up and exhale and forward chest up and exhale and one more time chest up and exhale. Now from this position, take your right leg back out one more time and we're gonna come into a warrior two so your right leg is out with your side of your right leg, foot on the floor and your left leg is on the chair. Bring your arms up. And from here, take a breath in. And as you exhale, let's go into reverse warrior. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, go into a, an angle pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, come into reverse warrior. Breathe in, exhale, come into your angle pose. And two more times like that. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. And breathe in. And exhale, come into your side angle and get that really nice stretch all the way on this side and come up back into center and use the chair to bring your right leg onto your chair your left leg behind you into your warrior twos so you can bring your arms out into your warrior two and you can look at your right hand so take a breath in as you exhale left hand on left leg take a breath in into reverse warrior exhale into a side angle, breathe in reverse warrior, exhale side, breathe in reverse, exhale side, two more like this, breathe in reverse, exhale side, and last time breathe in reverse, and exhale side and come back to the center, bring your legs back to the center and just sit just for a moment. Coming back to the intention of your practice. Now one more move before we close, let's go into a goddess, seated goddess pose. So your legs are gonna be out to the side and your feet are facing the corners of the mat. So in this goddess pose, we're seated and normally in goddess pose, we actually stand, but we're gonna do some goddess arms. So bring our arms up into this wide angle. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your arms down. Take your arms up. 
exhale down, bring your arms up, exhale down, and one more time, bring your arms up, and exhale down. Take your hands onto your knees and just bring your legs closer together. And let's just move our legs out just a little bit. Pull your abdominals in. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Come back to your purpose, your focus. And breathe in. And exhale. Now the sacral chakra is all about movement, all about desire. So we're going to end our practice here with the sound of a vam. So bring your hands into prayer. Or let's go ahead and do that mudra one more time. So thumbs together, middle fingers over the top, pushing onto the thumb and then Take your index fingers together. And then the pinky fingers are just going to be underneath your palms. Take a breath in. Vang. 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 And with your eyes closed, I want you to envision your creative desire. And see that in your mind's eye. Go ahead and open your eyes. If your hands are in the mudra, go ahead and shake them out. Bring your hands into prayer, thumbs to your forehead to remind you to have loving thoughts, thumbs to your mouth to remind you to have loving words, and hands to your heart to remind you to love yourself and each other. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming to this practice, for chair practice, all about the sacral chakra.